Okay, I'll that clear. is not helpful for my plant searching activities. Let's see, we got some silver. Okay. Got lead done already. Get tin. Already got iron. So that'll do to start. That'll be the basic stuff for the high oven den. Yeah, just don't ask how some of this is gone, but oh man. Let's get this out of the way for now. And now all I need is another aqueous accumulator and we can get this going. Cool. What the heck? That was interesting. Found another berry garden too, so that's good. Okay, put the bucket on there. Loot. Very cool. I think because we uh, we did lose a berry berry garden, didn't we? Yeah. Oops. Yep. It happens. Okay. Oh, what happened? Why are you not ejecting? Okay, apparently it also can't accept items from the top. How interesting. Alright, fine then. If you're gonna be Apparently this fabricator is gonna be a bit of a bit of a jerk about things. I'll see if there's an update. The um, the mod author kind of was making it as an experiment, so yeah. Okay, that's okay. No, no, that's it's no worry. I mean it's no worry. I mean just sometimes things have restrictions. I mean you think about the restrictions we operate under that the Better Than Wolves game operates under, and this is really nothing. <laughs> True. At least we don't have to worry about squids. Yeah. They still little... freak me out it's... now, though. <laughs> Some nightmares do not go away just because you're in a different game mode. The, the chomping sound of a squid wrapped around your face is definitely one of them. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be a good way to get myself killed if I'm not careful. I mean, yeah, it's no big deal. I'm just going to... I think that's probably why it was acting so goofy, is because it was uh, not joining the way it was supposed to. All right. The sun is... So you go there. Set, and I'm in trouble. Well, not in trouble, but... Okay. Out you... in the world still. And you can now push... Oh, but I'm not that far out, so okay. Oh, and... Okay, seriously? This is just not... Is the... I told you to push to the, um... Push. Come on. Does the fabricator require... I don't know, there's something really weird. Maybe the fabricator can't act, accept items directly from uh, from um, the alloy smelter? Um, it should? I don't know. Oh, hold, oh, oh! Bobby. I think there's an input side, maybe. There's a little marker on the side of it here. Okay, you got zombies wandering hmm. up from the basement. Okay, good. To oh, is that where they're all coming from? Okay, that yeah. would make sense, actually. There's one down at the very bottom ah. of the stairs right now. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Why do I have two jagged cactus rapiers on my person now? I'm not entirely sure. I know, oh, yeah. but I'm running out of Matic if anyone has one on me. Yeah, they must be coming up looking for the villagers. Or us. Yeah, that's yeah, it could be us. Although they do prefer villagers over people, usually. So where are you, Kate? <clears throat> hmm. I'm over by my house. Now, textile gardens, I can pretty much just break them and plant the cotton seeds, right? Right, because their only thing they ever bother with is actual cotton cotton. cotton also, yeah. you notice, okay. may notice that there are a Let's couple see. of keys. I did some cow breeding. Yeah, I 
spread some too, and then I killed a bunch. Awesome. Do you have enough? Uh, do you do you have at least eight? Eight what? Leather. I do. Ooh, we're gonna be able to get those new boots soon. Yeah. Um, I put some of them over here, and I've got seven on me now, there and I need that cotton back. Stupid bloody. For the yeah, traveler's okay. boots. For the traveler's there's... boots, you're gonna need to have six leather, one aluminum, and getting two string. Okay. There's four. Fourteen leather in this house over here. I cords where cord is working. Okay. Also, do keep in mind we can make backpacks and set them to a hot yes. key. Throw me back my cotton. Alright, let's see if I can get... I'm still trying to get this silly uh, thing working. But I think also, I'm almost Kate, there. Yeah. I have a something over here you can check out. Okay. Okay. This is called a sprinkler. It works <laughs> uh, by attaching itself to a wooden water tank, which I will eventually be attaching to an aqueous accumulator as soon as I get the necessary materials. Um, oh. And it will further increase the um, hmm. growth rate of a 7x7 seven seven area of effect and also hydrate everything in a 7x7 seven seven effect. Cool. You gosh darn cotton picking. Okay. Oh, right. It's that accessing it from the side thing again, probably. Definitely acting. Ooh. This fabricator is definitely acting very quirky on me here. It didn't act peanut. quirky on me in single player, so I'm assuming this is a multiplayer issue or, or server issue. Yeah, it's finally taken. I think it's almost like it's just lagging a little. Just the way it's behaving. Okay, well, it looks like we're up and running again. I think it's. I just. I've just added an extra pipe to the system here, so. Oh, another rule of kitchen stuff do not take the last of anything. Sounds fair. I recall that rule. Yes. That way, if I don't have a place to guard. Like, if I don't have a plant for it I can make one and also everything has a spot and I know what we're low on so a place for everything and everything in its place yep more importantly I know where the hell everything is supposed to be because <laughs> there's so much stuff that if I don't actually have a All right, what I'm gonna do. Um, basically a list of what I have available then I'm just not going to know to refill things Understandable. Um, now, the other interesting thing that I'm going to be doing over here once I get an opportunity is to make another harvester over here. We will not need a planter yeah. because they're on the crops, and so it will not need to be replanted. Cool. Cool. And then we will need to have several barrels to have set up because we will have stuff coming in up to our eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> um... Do the uh, what happened to the round robin setting for the servos? Is that a higher tier uh, effect? Yeah, that's a higher tier effect. Now, in fact, I think that's Signalium Plus only. Okay, and otherwise, it works on closest inventory first. That is correct. However, you can also create vacuum pipes or mm -hmm. uh, condensed pipes, restriction pipes, I think they're called, and that will add or subtract a thousand to the block distance. Okay, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out... Yeah, I'm just I'm just setting up an overflow for uh, logs here and charcoal. Alright, so I've got some oak saplings and I've got some... i got a willow... a few willow saplings. Okay, I think for now we'll just set up the charcoal overflow to be right beside the... Uh... Yikes. Um, I don't want to be... Okay, Good. here we go. Item duct plus lead dust equals dense item dust. 
which will basically increase by 1,000 the effective range. So it basically makes that particular route last. And pulverized silver or silver dust plus an item duct is the vacuum mm -hmm. item duct, which will subtract a thousand. So that's basically going to be the destination of choice. Mm, okay, and that yeah, that that used to be you used to be a pipe configuration thing you would do with a wrench. So they've obviously moved those into actual items now. Lead and tin. Ten, one lead. And it's going to be silver, not tin. That's going to be the pulverized stuff that you're going to need. Yeah. Yeah, not, not what I'm making right now. It's, it's okay. I figured out I've got an alternate solution already rigged up here. So. Excellent. Yeah, it will be fine. <clears throat> Just got two. So we've got an output for logs. And we're going to probably have more logs than we know what to do with very quickly here. Cool. Also yep. going to get a... Also going to get a barrel set up here for uh, saplings. Yeah, having a barrel for saplings in wood might be a very good idea. Already done. In fact, I will even lock them. There we are. And then if I do this, this has been done right. That should have a destination. Ooh, another witch. Perfect. Okay. That did that job. Okay. That did have a home. Now all I need is another servo. And another chest. And we'll have our input. Because I don't. Yeah, I do need the servo. And I think I have everything I need to make a servo in my inventory. Yeah, I do. Now, if all has gone according to plan here, always on. Okay, the chest up here is now the ore inbox. So if I've done this right, the uh, ores should be now able to go in to the high oven. We will find out in just a moment. I still haven't set up all the output options. Oh, hold on. Uh, Ferris. Is Ferris good in there? or We will probably want Ferris in there for the ore tripling effect, mm -hmm. at least until we have enough that we don't care yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's loaded, and we have Ferris ore coming out into the system now. And we're probably not going to need... Okay, so it's now starting to fin it, fill up your tank <clears throat> with a mixture of fluids because not all of those have actually been configured yet. Gold, lead, and iron have been configured. Question is, has anything actually come out of here yet? No. Hmm. Okay, no iron in there, but there was lead. And it is on. Okay, how much lead? It's should It should be outputting some of this already, shouldn't it? It should drain what it can. All right, I'm going to grab the... Uh, I'm going to get the silver configured here. I think I have that all ready to go, actually. Awesome. And, no, just the tin. Well, I don't know. Something... I'm not sure if it's working or not down in the basement there. Let's see. I That's... am going to be working on uh, something. All right, sounds good. I'm, I'm going to make our uh, our little pitfall area mm -hmm. a little more efficient. I think I'm going to run out and go more exploring, but I need a axe and a shovel and or another mattock. Why am I missing something here? Um, okay. Can you not repair it? I don't know. How does one repair it? Just uh, whatever material it's made out of, combine it in your inventory. Cool. All right. Well, I can try that. Hmm. Oh, there it is. 
Do we have any loose stone? If it's stone, cobblestone will also work to fix it. Cool. Well, I might have to steal some cobblestone from somewhere. I has plenty. Dang it. You stupid bloody thing. Okay. I have completely forgotten what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Well, that Thanks. repairing thing is handy. All right. <clears throat> okay, silver, white list, on. Okay, so if the silver is not being rec recognized, it's not the output is not recognizing the buckets. Are you sure it's not actually thinking that it's a bucket? Make sure that it's a white list and not a black list. It is a white list. It is. Oh, maybe I tell it to ignore. No, it's not, um... I, I know that's how I thought it used to work too, but it's not, um, pulling the liquids out. I should have more than enough silver in there right now to okay, do well, the job too. Okay, well I'm heading due west. Ow. Hmm. Um, due west is gonna hit a swampland. You're gonna see another, um... Another temple over there as well. Hmm. Okay. Mind of the lava. Let's see. Okey so that's you can see there should be more than enough silver in that tank right now. And silver is configured back here at the back. This fourth one right here. And I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be working here, so... Whoa! Hang on, let me check something. Did it not, uh... See if it'll come out without the, uh... Okay, do you have that bucket back? I do. You want me to place it in? Yeah, slap it in there. Okay. It is done. This is interesting. Yeah. And that is a valid multi-block, I can tell, because there's a bunch of fluid inside of it. And so. there is a casting basin recipe for it, so that should be a valid inventory. All right, well, there's an easy way to check here. Um, if we take the molten silver bucket out and just tell it to pull anything out, it is pulling something out, so it's the whitelist that's the problem. See, it just created... Yeah, I just turned it off to... to... Yeah, what wound up in there? It's it's tin right now, but that's we'll we'll fix that later. Um, I don't think I have tin configured, so we'll just reconfigure that to be tin. So the question is, why did it not pull the deep tank? There we are. There's the info on the deep tank. Okay. Well, first of all, it looks like it's an order issue. Ah, um, yes, it has an order of operations. The bottom one always goes first. All right, so let me just reconfigure a new silver one. And then, so that means that I just have to get them all configured. Always on, whitelist. Okay, that's what's going on then. Excellent. Okay, so I'll just get the rest of these configured and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to need to configure tin. Um, I don't have enough copper to do it, actually, which is interesting. Yeah, we, we need a lot more copper because I need some copper for the aqueous accumulator as well. Okay, let's see, molten silver. So I guess it is time to uh, dig a ton of dig, dig a ton of? Yeah, well, even just, yeah, some digging and... 
Yeah, we'll be. Yeah, we'll be okay. It won't take long I to. I think I may have discovered the source of our unpleasant visitors. I am fixing this problem. Are they coming out of the basement? I thought that's might what might be where they're coming from, anyways. Yeah, um, I was mining earlier, and I was not as careful about lighting it up as I had thought uh, I was. Well, that happens. No big deal. Okay, I took care of that. Let's get that ingot cast back in there. Uh-huh. Gotcha. There was one corner. Okay. Good stuff. Just getting this, let's see, gold, lead is configured, silver, yeah, so it's just copper. I need, we need to get some copper, and we'll be in pretty good shape here. How goes the adventure, Kate? Never catch me alive, copper. Ah, uh, Kate, you're muted. I found pistachios, but I don't think I care. A <laughs> uh, bunch of mushrooms, cattails, a couple of different kinds of mushrooms. Found a big cool. body of water. I'm kind of walking around trying to see if I can find a water garden. Cool. Well, that's uh, yeah. See, see what you can find. I mean, I've I've destroyed the only water garden I've seen. I unfortunately accidentally destroyed. So that was unfortunate. Yeah, sent it down to the depths. I did. Yes, I destroyed in an irretrievable manner. Okay, but. I mean, so far so good. Okay, the question, does Osmium work with uh, Tinkers? Sadly, no. Okay, that's too bad. Um, uh, and of course, we've got the stupid little... Somewhere, somehow, a fragment of a fraction of silver has disappeared. Oh, well. Too bad. And did we need clay still? Um, no, we're, we're, we're good on clay for now, and okay. the slag that is coming out of the high oven can actually be used to make the stuff now. And now we will. Well, the sun is setting. I don't suppose you guys would mind if... Oh, I didn't bring my bed, but <clears throat> if I logged off and you skipped the night? Um, we might be able to do that, yeah. Because it's scary out right here. What the heck happened? I am in bed. I will be in two seconds as soon as I remember where I left my bed. It's been a while since I've seen it. There it is. Come on. There we go. Just one more second here and done. You're clear to good to go, Kate. Thank you much. Now that was weird. My um I had a batch of uh I had a the servo I had disappeared, it just poofed out of existence. Where did it go? Ah, well, it there is, it is not in my inventory, so I didn't accidentally steal it from you. It fell into a it fell into a hopper, one of the other hoppers over here. This is not a surprising turn of events. <laughs> just one of those things that seems to happen around here. Okay, tin. Reconfigure. Molten tin. White listed. All right, what is left in there? It should only be, what do we have in there? We should have nickel. Why, why do we have nickel? Nickel is ferrous. Oh, okay, cool. All right, we don't have enough of that to do anything with yet, so that'll have to be dealt with later. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't have a home for that yet, which is mildly unfortunate. Which just means it's going to be getting in the way on a regular basis here. Okay. Well, heading... Let's see. Actually, you know what? I need my steel tools. I need to do my steel upgrade here. So we need some charcoal, which we should have in plenty of quantities now. Yep. You'll be able to recover fairly goodly chunks of charcoal from the uh, fabricator right now. Excellent. So I'm going to, I've thrown a full stack into the infuser here, and I will get not a huge amount of iron started, but 
or steel, but I've you know, got a bash. More iron here. I have lots. Um, I'm gonna get uh, nine going, and now I'll get fifteen going, because iron is plentiful. In fact, there's even some iron down in the basement of this very uh, um, smelting area. So. Yeah, well, I kind of chewed through it, so. Yeah, well, that's okay. I mean, that's we've got that massive cave system down there, and we will be able. To, oh, I just found some copper behind the salt in the basement. There you go. Nice, and some coal. Not that we desperately need coal right now. With charcoal under manufacture, it's become a bit of a different story. You know, it's interesting. There's actually very few places where um, I've found where uh, the um, uh, coal versus charcoal difference matters, but the um, um, one of the alchemy systems I built uh, for Thomcraft actually does differentiate between them. Yeah, they've got <coughs> times uh, different. Bless you. Excuse me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It allowed me to di it allows me to redirect the stuff that's being turned into um, as the focus and the stuff that's being melted down for its uh, bits in different directions. But even more importantly, I figured out how to actually get turn charcoal into coal. Did you know there was a way to do that? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of ways to do that. The one I found that looked the best was using the uh, sawmill thing to cut torches up. That does work. Yeah. It was a <clears throat> kind of an interesting little way of uh, doing that, but okay, I need the hard. I found a maple forest. That's what it was from. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And we'll throw in there. Any tin left? Nope. Okay. And then you go back there. All right. So the um, casting table should officially be able to be redirected to just pure casting. Excellent. The um, I'm 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 trying to plus size our cotton, Kate, and I'm yeah. meeting some limited success. So it's probably a higher tier plant. Okay. No idea what happened there, but I'll just deal with it. Okay. Yep. So we'll get this returned to its manual controlled state, and yeah, we are good to go for casting new tools, which will be very yeah, nice. I, I kind of had a, to to be able to do all of the uh, the oh. seared brick. I had to have the hoppers showed up. With the oh. um, yeah, oh. absolutely. Yeah, I had one hopper that's feeding into the table that was feeding the brick in there, and then the one mm -hmm. below that was feeding it out and into the chest below it, so that it would be semi-automated. Nice. I'm just going to disable that for now because I don't want stuff getting drained out while I'm trying to uh, <laughs> trying to make my tools here. Yeah, that would kind of be a be a good idea. Yeah. So let's see, what do I need first? I'm gonna need. Well, I think I'm just gonna upgrade my pick today, so that I'll be ready to go in the. Uh, nether. There should already be a steel pick behind you. Oh. Oh, there is too. Look at that. It's a slight improvement a over my garden. current one. So. Just one. I'll just throw my bronze one in here and snag that. Okay. We'll need the steel anyway, so I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we're going to use it on something, if nothing else, the steel bolts for the crossbows when we get around to making those. Mm -hmm. Now, an interesting question would be, is the steel um, dust compatible with uh, the high oven? It should well be. All right, well, let me throw it in there and see what happens. Because it should just drain out if it's got a valid... Which it won't, unless we define one to be steel, which is kind of less useful. Oh, yeah, it did. It did pull it out. So, well, 
we could. I mean, there's no reason not to. I mean, it's free. It's a system that's running. You know, if we're going to send our ores somewhere, we might as well send it to the system that's already there. Well, true. However, the concern I have is we only have nine slots. Hmm, true. True, but we've already... I mean, most of the valid metals are already configured. We don't have shiny or ferrous. True, and... Yeah, alright, well, um, we can always just do it temporarily until... Just go right. see how many are down there right now. I just ran into poison ivy. Yeah, that hurts. Don't do that. Okay. Deep tank has a little bit of molten... <sighs> Hold on, where's the steel? Nickel, copper... Oh, one other thing. You can make steel in the high oven. And you can yeah. make it in six blocks at a time. Wow. Okay, Um, I'm not seeing any uh, steel having come out of this. But, okay, no, it looks like there is steel in there. It's just not, not it visible. It is just such a small amount that it is not visible. Remember, yeah. those, those ca casts take nine ingots at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to actually have to smelt some in the uh in the big uh in the smeltery here so we'll do that i'll, I'll take care of that in a bit now in the meantime there, there's a, a steel workers book around here somewhere i'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out where i put it um google forgetful me uh yeah i saw i did actually spotted that here, here it it's is right here working in you by the tinker society I'll have to have a look at that later. Right now, I'm going to go and see if I can find some more uh, copper. Now, is it uh, only a high elevation spawn, or does it spawn deep in the caves, too? It is a high elevation spawn. That's why you okay. didn't find any down there. It's, uh, I uh -huh. believe, Y40+. plus. Okay, so we need to find a mid-elevation cave system. Ooh, actually, you know where we've got a really good block of exposed high elevation um, rock? Where would that be? Uh, where this um, fortress is bashed into the ground like a ton of bricks. Hmm. Interesting. This one fortress... Yeah, there's, there's just one little problem with that. Oh? Yeah, um, would not advise doing that without some backup, because what those would... mobs around that tower tend to be rather upset with you for doing that. Oh, okay, I, I, see, I see signs of one here. I see, I see the spawn point for one, anyways. I just see a little bit here. I'm just going to see if I can get in and uh, snag a couple pieces here quick. Yeah, I'm good. So far, so good. It looks like most of them are in the tower right now, so... Yeah, it looks like we need gunpowder, redstone, oh, but... and sand to turn iron into steel in the high oven by raw... Oh, hello, Concussion Creeper! Oh! He got ya. Did he get ya? Oh no, I'm uh, quick as quick as lightning with my little uh, thing here. All right. Well, the sun has definitely gone down here, so I'm gonna have to get back to home here. It wasn't as wasn't as lucrative here as I had hoped, anyways. So we're gonna and have to do some, some fusion powder out of it. Cool. That'll be useful. You know, actually, they, it might actually be almost as sensible to go to the nether, although the uh, zombie pigmen will get pretty pissy about us taking their ores, so... Well, uh, we've got an emerald, so we could theoretically yeah. make ourselves something to deal with that, and we're getting mm -hmm. some more mobs in here, and I don't know where they're coming from. There must be a dark spot or two left, maybe? Okay, I'm turning on F7 and doing a perimeter check. All right, sounds good. Okay. I'm gonna throw these. I'll throw in these six for now. I'm gonna get some steel in there, and I'm gonna need to get a bucket of steel to get the steel out of that system. We can always reconfigure it later, but I think we're gonna be winding up making steel. You've got the steelworker's book on you still, don't you? 
Uh, yeah, I can come back though. No, it's okay. I, I, I'll look at that. I'll look at that. That'll be a the examination. Roof. Oh, right, the rooftops. I got some of them, but I didn't get all of them. There must be one or two. The roof of our mining building. Ha! Well, yeah, that makes sense. That's where they were coming from, isn't it? No, it's got it's got one up there. Hmm. Mm, well, there could be. Kate mentioned they might be coming out of the caves. There's some coming up the stairs. There might be yeah, a dark spot. Yeah, but I thought I, I clarified those dark spots and negated their effectiveness. Let me check Let's something. See. I'm just going to go down here. Unless they're coming all the way up from underneath. They could be doing that. Oh, I found a, there's a dark spot about halfway down here. Conceivably could have been the prop part oh, of it. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. I might die, but... Oh, dear. Frickin' little... Baby skeleton. Baby Pick skeleton? Ever loving crap out of me. I knew there were baby zombies. I did not know there were baby skeletons as well. Yeah, be afraid. They can also ride chickens. Huh. That's kind of awesome and kind of annoying. No, they're extremely scary because they're fast little... Buggles. They're fast yeah. and they slide underneath things. And they shoot you. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Yes. Everything's wrong with right the now. world. Ridiculous. Well, let me know when the sun comes up again. Okay. Because I stuck in a cave. Hmm. Yeah, I would love a cave right now. Well, I'm just lighting up this little mind out area here a couple of dark enough spots to be a problem but you said yeah 40 the high 40s right yeah 40 plus 40 plus okay and this cave is at 28 Let's see if it goes up at all i think this is all downhill from here though isn't it and i don't think that goes Hold on. I am silly. We have an easy solution that I haven't set up. We oh. have orberry. We have copper orberry bushes. Oh, so we do. It's yep. not a very rapid method of doing so, but no, not yet. I mean, a little magic, and um, that'll change real fast. But at least it'll give us sort of a secondary supply moving, I which we. I wonder if the sprinkler system would accelerate its growth. We could find out. That could be interesting. Let's see. Where are those orberry bushes? Yeah, five copper orberry bushes. There we go. And we need some... Oh, there's some more ores, too. Let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll set them up up here, and then we'll just get a little... Oh, wow, it won't even let me plant them. Whoops. Actually, we'll do it here. Maybe they can only be planted on stone. No. I wonder what the restriction is on planting these. Uh, they have to... to be planted in the dark. Well, they only grow in the dark. I think they pop if the light level is too high. Hmm, could be. All right. Well, I can fix that real easy. So I just need some slabs. We'll see if they can even be planted outside anymore. They might have to actually be underground now. I Should think be. they have a rule that... Whoa, behind you! Whoa, 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 whoa. How did he get in here? Where did he come from? Good question. Why did he have a... Uh-oh. What's on wrong? A second. I think I know what's going on. I just built this. Right this over was here, all... this was all... 
However, the mm -hmm. fact that he had a bone means that he was oh. somewhere where a skeleton had died, so I'm coming down under here and checking this. Yeah, well, th this little mess right here is just the start of my, is me building the uh, Orberry system. Interesting, though. Yeah, All right. the, um, the spiders can, can skate across the quicksand, unfortunately. Yeah, I figured that might be the case. All right, so those will grow. It'll just, it's, as I say, just a backup system right now. I, I could make a, a really, really bad reference, but I think I shall avoid that right now. <laughs> well, there's I'm another! Sure. Okay, that's weird. Where did he... He came we have an... over here somewhere. Oh, uh, we... maybe under here or something? No? Um, oh, there's a dark rooftop. That this roof... Might... Yeah. Is there a way... Yep, yeah, there's... I mean, it's probably... I can't imagine how they get through here, but... That was dark. That might have been dark. Oh, over there on the other side of the uh, the garden, the roof is is dark up there too, up at the very very top. Ah, okay. Oh, and there's oh there's darkness inside of one of these buildings still. So that's taken care of now. You are likely to be eaten by a guru. Mm, old school. There we go. So that one should be secure now. And that one's now secure. All right, we're getting there. Morning's just coming, Kate. OK, I was just going to put on some water for tea. So I'll do that, All and right. I'll come back. OK, let's see what we can do here about Ores. I think we'll. Ha I think I'm gonna have to do some more mining off camera rather than messing around with that today. Yeah, probably a wise idea. That's the sort of grindy thing you can do off camera. Mm -hmm. But um, let's, let's see. Just see what else I can do here. See if there's enough steel here to fill a bucket, so I can start getting ready to get it back out. Of, uh, get it. I've got to make sure I can get the steel back out of that uh, deep tank. Right, and you can make just a stupid amount of yeah. steel. I mean, you can make six blocks of steel in one shot. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll definitely have to look at that. Let's see what we got here. That book. I'll look at that here, later. It's in your inventory. Oh, excellent. Excellent, excellent. So this now, is they all may about... have fixed the block issue. That was back mm -hmm. in... Um, back when it was on Agrarian Skies 1, so it may have been fixed by now, or okay. it may not have been, but you used to be able to make six blocks instead of six ingots at a time. Cool. Well, guess we shall see. So right now, those things that are being smelted down here are not going into... They're just going to go into chests. I do need another chest down here. And I will have to configure the, uh, uh, a system, I'll just have to bring them up into a central location here. It shouldn't be too hard, I'll just take some item ducts to bring it back to the surface. Okay. Two boxes in place, good. Nuggets. Let's see, is that melted yet? Almost. Get that out of the system. And then I th I will have to upgrade my tools in the, for the next episode. Or maybe we'll go to the... Uh, maybe it'll be time to go to the nether. That might be good fun. Yeah, if we go to the nether, I want to make a silky crystal first to be able to put on somebody's pickaxe so we can mine the stuff without um, upsetting the pigmen. Hmm. That's probably a good idea. That would be handy. 
Also, that way you don't have to deal with random explosions. <laughs> hmm. Is there any way to dump liquid into a deep tank? Yes, you can. Um, you see the two ducts that dump into the tank from the high oven? Just yep. attach a uh, portable tank to one of ah. those and have at. Okay, that will work. Just a way for me to get the steel in my bucket in there for... Uh... Okay, and then we will break that. That. Also, if we are heading to the nether, I'm going to want myself some more serious firepower. Yeah, I would agree. Maybe we should get and some armor. tinker. For some... armor, we really need at least one ender pearl for the legs. Um, the, 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 the tinker construct traveler legs are the wings, and they're just really, really, really nice. All right, well, that's probably a good plan. Do a little bit of prep work and get those those together in the, well, Enderman hunting. It's either yeah. that or we tackle one of those dungeons, like, as soon as possible. Yeah, that would be the other option, but I'm, I'm wanting to at least make myself a crossbow because, well, yeah, that's just going to be kind of smart. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Okay. Drain all that out. Oh Good. whoa! Hey, we've got we've got lots of dark areas over by Kate's garden. I think I may oh. have knocked over a torch from the water accident. Oh, possibly that more than one. That may have been what had happened there, so I have solved that. That would do it. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let's see if that helped at all. Is there actually enough steel for me to target? Yes, there is. Okay. Copper is getting close. When you uh, when you get done with the steel, can I have an ingot? I would like to upgrade my rapier from cactus to steel. Okay, there is not an adequate quantity of steel yet for me to get. Oh, hold on, there might actually be a block that came out. Let me just see. Yes, I have one block of steel. I'm bringing it upstairs right now. We'll awesome. just have to uh, cast get it get it in for casting. I'll just throw it. You want to just throw it in? Um, break it down into ingots. I only need the one ingot for the for the sword blade. Okay. It's um, actually we don't seem to have a sword blade mold, so we're gonna have we to need to make one first. Oh, well, um, that's pretty easy. Let me just get some of the uh, aluminum brass in there, or the yeah, there we are. Okay. One ingot. Yep, it's... and I'm making the stone sword blade right now. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, I think it's probably going to be a good place to wrap it up for tonight. We'll do a bit of prep work and get our get what we need together for making the better tools, right? And then we'll tackle one of those dungeons or the Nether or both. The dungeons would probably be a little bit easier than the Nether, all things considered. Even odds, it depends on how things where we wind up in the Nether. But yeah, um, as long as we have good armor and good uh, decent weapons, we should be fine with three of us. As long as we don't stab each other, then. <laughs> Speaking yeah, from experience, and, and, um, you really, really do not want to get in the way of a crossbow bolt. Ah, uh, yeah, I can imagine. Well, it that... it does like seventeen and a half damage. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah, we'll want to avoid that then. I just found a maple tree. <clears throat> cool. That I can All grow right. at home. <laughs> nice. Well, we'll have to get all this a little more centralized in the next episode, but things are coming. It's coming. My goodness, that's a lot of... Oh, prepared to fight, are you? Excellent. 
I we'll now have, to... have a steel blade rather than a cactus blade. I feel much more prepared. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I probably should do the same thing. I'll do that off camera, though. For now, it's time to call it a night. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. See you later.